Dylan, thank you. Tonight in 12 Investigates, a woman is suing Winston-Salem's police chief for defamation. That lawsuit coming months after he was found in violation of a department directive. The city of Winston-Salem announced the violation in March, but the city manager won't say what the chief violated. Our Devante McKenneth joins us in studio live this evening. Devante, the lawsuit also mentions this violation, doesn't it? It does, Kenny, and that lawsuit was filed in Forsyth County back in May. Kwamika Shaver said the defamation and emotional distress started Started after she became pregnant by Chief Penn in July of last year. The lawsuit claims Chief Penn tried to pay for an abortion through Cash App and later threatened to charge that same woman with a felony crime. Shaver's complaint alleges that she wanted to keep the baby, but Winston-Salem Police Chief William Penn did not. The document says she felt pressured by Chief Penn to have an abortion, who insisted it was the best option and even offered to pay for the procedure. The lawsuit says in July of 2023, Chief Penn sent nearly $3,300 via Cash App after learning about the pregnancy. It adds Chief Penn showed mixed emotions, at times belittling the plaintiff, while offering both compassion and care. This week, Chief Penn sent a statement to 12 Investigates calling the lawsuit frivolous in nature. It reads in part, quote, I believe that I should not comment on pending litigation. My focus remains where it has been since the day I was sworn in as chief of police to protect the citizens of this city. I ask that the public be patient before reaching a conclusion as to where the truth lies in this matter and allow the case to be settled in the public court of law where both sides will get to present evidence, end quote. More allegations in the lawsuit claims in August of 2023, Chief Penn sent another $3,000 cash. He bought her a gift card for a spa and promised to pay for therapy. A month later, the lawsuit alleges Chief Penn entered Shaver's home with a firearm without her knowledge. That same month, she received a letter from Chief Penn's attorney saying if she contacted him again, she would be charged with the felony. Shavers claimed that letter was a baseless, intimidating threat and that she lost 20 pounds from anxiety and stress in a loss of clients and business for the entrepreneur. She requested a letter of retraction and apology, but the complaint says the chief's attorney said no unless she got legal representation. Fast forward to May of this year, Shavers emailed chief and his attorney once again seeking to correct the wrong also saying Chief Penn's attorney had no authority to determine if she seeks legal counsel or not. So far, according to that complaint, no resolution and no apology, which led to this lawsuit. Shavers is seeking $50,000 in damages. Sheriff Bobby Kimbrough was also mentioned twice in this lawsuit. According to it, he was contacted in August of last year at the chief's request to speak with Shavers for mediation purposes. The second was in November when he and Shavers discussed how to approach Chief Penn about a letter of apology. But just this week, the sheriff refuted those claims, saying in a statement, quote, Bobby Kimbrough does not and did not give advice as it relates to this situation. I also will not discuss the personal life of the police chief or anyone else's. That is the business of two fully grown adults, end quote. We also did reach out to Shavers for comment, and she tells me she will not make any statements about this case. For 12 Investigates, I'm Devontae McKenna.